Welcome to Straight Talk. National and local protests are the focus for farmers this week. There are suggestions that the government's emissions trading scheme may spur the formation of a new rural political party. But isn't this particular battle over, with the government refusing to back down, as has happened in Australia? And in Auckland, angry Rodney farmers, along with other ratepayers north of the super city, have taken to the streets protesting their desire not to be included within its boundaries. While Rodney Hyde might rail against the ETS, he's a staunch defender of this major structural change. Today I'm joined by former agricultural journalist and senior journalism lecturer Dr Alison Osterman and freelance agricultural journalist Hugh Stringleman. Well Hugh, uh, what do you think is happening with the, uh, the ETS debate? It's all over bar the shouting, isn't it? Yes, I think the Prime Minister has uh, repeatedly said they're not going to delay it any further. Mm. So um, talk of a, a new uh, rural party is, is just that talk. Yeah. I don't this is all coming from Federated Farmers, nowhere else? Yes, uh, which is a little curious, seeing they already have a party, which mm. is Federated Farmers. And so mm. I don't think they, there's anything to be gained by, by forming any sort of new political organisation. Are they just trying to put more pressure on the government? Uh, I mean, I see they're putting out this publication here where they're talking about uh, this might be another fart tax proposal protest. Uh, that was pretty successful for them, yes, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, but I think they've conceded that they probably won't you know, interrupt the uh, implementation of the scheme. Mm. But I think they can certainly protest against the financial effects and the and the management or the administration of the scheme. Mm. Alison, do you think we're seeing more of an urban-rural divide these days? Uh, the fact that farmers are very concerned about these issues, um, urban consumers are going to have to pay more quite shortly because of the ETS? but they don't actually seem to mind too much. I don't think people are really aware of what the consequences are going to be. Mm -hmm. um, but the rural divide, or the urban divide, um, there was a survey done last year by MAF that mm -hmm. showed that, in fact, city dwellers were quite positive towards the farming sector, mm -hmm. but it was more that the farming sector was a bit more dubious about how they were perceived. Mm. And I think the Rodney-Franklin um, super city issue shows that up. Shows that I think up. it's actually more an anti-Auckland right. uh, divide with the rest of the country, frankly. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Hugh? You were an Aucklander for some years and uh, you've now relocated to Northland. Uh, yeah. You've seen both sides of the story. <clears throat> I have, but I can certainly sympathise with those uh, Rodney ratepayers who don't want to be part of a super city. Mm -hmm. and, um, they've got some very strong farming leadership up there, which mm -hmm. uh, appears to be uh, planning different uh, protests and mm -hmm. uh, ways of getting their message across. So I don't think that's uh, a done deal yet. I mm. don't think they're part of the super city. I think uh, I think Hyde has got just enough room to sort of uh, exempt them if, if, uh, if mm. the protest is strong enough. So uh, with uh, the protest about this particular issue, wouldn't that be all grist to the mill for a, uh, a rural political party? Uh, perhaps Rodney Hyde might be the, the sort of person who might be uh, coming out and fronting up that level, uh, despite being the uh, MP for Epsom. Yes, it's a bit hard to, to run on two horses at once, though, isn't it? The, you know, <laughs> and I'm, There's I'm nothing not, Rodney can't do. <laughs> well, I'm not necessarily talking about him, but I'm talking about the, the sort of issues that, yes. that, that a, a rural party might uh, take up or champion. Mm -hmm. And mm. Um, I think the issue around Auckland is, is pretty localised. I can't see that the rest of uh, mm. rural New Zealand is going to get too excited about that. Yeah. Um, Alison, uh, don't you feel that uh, perhaps other areas of New Zealand might feel with the super city, with what has happened with uh, Environment Canterbury down in uh, that area, that uh, their um, local uh, authorities might come under the spotlight from uh, central government in the future? I think uh, shouldn't they be more concerned about the I super city? I think they should possibly be, yes. Mm, yeah. Because there are, there's talk around the country of other areas trying to do what Rodney RDC is trying to do, which mm -hmm. is have a unitary authority. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And one of the farmers has told me that the, one of the reasons that they think that it's actually a dead duck Mm. They, they, they've got a supplementary order paper apparently going either yesterday or today mm -hmm. to try and get their division, mm. but it doesn't look as if it's going to go ahead. Mm. Um, what's happened down in uh, Franklin? Because people down in that area seem to uh, uh, fail sooner than well, the Rodney uh, I, I think that's really interesting, but they are subdivided. Mm -hmm. 
And why was that subdivided and not, which seems less sensible than sub, subdividing off the northern part of Rodney? Mm. Mm. I mean, that's totally 80% farming, pure farming, isn't it? Yes. What do you think, Hugh? Uh, there's I a agree. There's the a... line should have been drawn somewhere around the, the Dome Valley yeah. and, mm. and uh, they can join Kuiper or Wangarei District or whatever mm -hmm. um, north of that line. Mm -hmm. But south of that line they have a commonality with, uh, with Auckland, yeah. which is pretty obvious to most people. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I've got a secret conspiracy theory that Lockwood's going to resign and become the mayor of the super city. <laughs> ah, there you go. Well, well, well it's his electorate, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yes. We'll yeah. see, uh, see what happens there. Uh, what about some of the cost savings that have been held up as being a, a big feature uh, of the super city that uh, farmers, uh, if they are involved in that, they'll get better service, uh, rates will be less. Um, uh, all these things are music to farmers' ears, aren't they? Yes, they're quite good arguments, and I, I went to a big protest meeting in uh, Wellsford where, where those arguments were put forward by, mm -hmm. by different uh, civic leaders, and um, obviously not, not everybody is convinced that uh, the super city is a bad idea, but mm -hmm. um, I think by and large, if you're part of a big super city, you'll eventually get rated or... Um, mm. at, at, at city rates, which will be pretty horrendous if you're owning mm -hmm. a 1,000 hectares or something like mm. that. Right. Yeah. So uh, is it time to be talking about a uh, complete change in the rating system? Uh, I know farmers have protested for a long time that uh, you know uh, rates on land values hit them very unfairly. Uh, should we be looking at a, a poll tax type arrangement, as has been talked about uh, in the past, Alison? Oh, I don't know about that. I know that talking to those farmers up in Rodney that mm. rates is a big issue for them because mm -hmm. they, they see themselves having to pay for Auckland's leaky homes, for all the amenities and recreational facilities in Auckland and for um, transport. Yes. And it's yeah. got nothing to do with them. Mm. So, you know, I, they feel that they're going to be marginalised. Mm -hmm. They're going to have urban bureaucrats, as they are now apparently, coming in and telling them how to run their farms. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of ill will, I've been told, around that particular issue. Yeah, you'd agree with that, Hugh? I certainly would. And mm -hmm. I, I think there is, it is long, we're long overdue for some sort of uh, um, service uh, rating rather than just land rating. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But uh, there have been different... Um, uh, options looked at and it seems to be that uh, no one can come up with the right formula uh, in terms of uh, yeah, individual rating or uh, a different uh, way of property uh, rating. Do you think the impetus is there now <coughs> to find a, a better solution? Uh, no, I don't think there's much impetus around at the moment but mm -hmm. uh, you know, land rating is, is, uh, is very convenient within urban regions but um, much less uh, logical in, in, uh, in rural. Mm -hmm. areas and mm -hmm. uh, you know some some people have spent an awful long time worrying about it and uh, probably decades mm -hmm. and uh, there's been no mm. no apparent solution to that mm. right what uh, next for the farmers who are protesting uh, the inclusion in the super city uh, if they're not able to keep separate if they are drawn in kicking and screaming uh, what sort of life are they going to have uh, as super city citizens Alison I think it's going to take them a long time. I think it's going to take us all a long time to acclimatise, although I do think that, in a way, we've gone back mm. to the old Borough Council idea. Yes. Representation's a big issue. They've mm -hmm. got one, one on the, on the council mm -hmm. and, I think, nine spread over an area that's half the size of the total uh, mm. Auckland regional size. Mm. Uh, so, from here, what sort of uh, representatives uh, do you think farmers are going to uh, see coming forward for the, uh, the super city? Will they be uh, existing councillors who've represented uh, rural wards, or is there likely to be new blood coming in there? I think there will have to be new blood. Um, the old days where farmers uh, served uh, for long periods on their local borough councils or district roads boards or, you mm. know, um, catchment boards or whatever, I think that's largely passed. Mm -hmm. And certainly within the, you know, the greater Auckland area, I mean, I just don't think farmers are, have got the time or the inclination to do that sort of work. Mm. Um, mm. And mm. I think... What do you think, Alison? You think there'll be new I, people coming in? From no. the word that I've heard, it's going to be the same councillors are going to be standing. So mm. look for Penny Webster, I would imagine, oh. going for yes. that one mm. seat. Yes.